Hey guys, it's Christy, and today I'm going to do a little video on my current favorites. I do not have many current favorites because I am a creature of habit and I like to use the same things all the time. So I'm going to jump right in. My first favorite is my Henry Bendel Jet Setter Tote, which you guys have seen a bazillion times, so I decided to not even get up and get it. But yes, I have some videos on it which you can check out if you want to see reviews and whatnot. My next favorite recently has been my bottle that I got from Target. It is by the brand Ello and it is just a glass bottle and it has a twist top with a very large opening which I like to put lemon in. I will call lemon my next favorite. I have been drinking lemon water every day and I absolutely love it. It just makes me feel more hydrated. It's made my skin actually look more hydrated. So it, my skin feels less dry than it had before. Like I have very dry skin. It feels really good lately and I think that it has a lot to do with me drinking lemon water. My next favorite is my Kate Spade iPhone case. It's so cute. It has what I believe <laughs> is a little grapefruit, a lemon, hmm, and a little kiwi. And it was a birthday present from my cousin. I was kind of drooling over it for a while and she knew that I was drooling over it and it was like the perfect present because I was in the mood for a new phone case. I'm not one of those people that changes their phone case like every other week. Like I just don't care like I want a good phone case and I want it to like last on my phone so the last phone case I had was my tech 21 phone case and it was it's pink and I had that phone case for well over a year since I had gotten the phone so it was kind of like time for change to make me feel like I had a new phone because I don't and I'm not going to have one for a while so this just makes me feel like I have a new phone it's clear you can see that I have the gold version of the iPhone 6 Plus and yes, absolutely love this case. The next thing that I want to talk about is fall TV. Okay, I love TV anyway, like it's no secret. I love to DVR shows and then watch them the next morning or even sometimes I watch them and when they're on and I'm bored. But I have like a list of shows <laughs> that I am loving this season. So we're going to start with American Horror Story 6, My Roanoke Nightmare, amazing. I feel like American Horror Story is going back to its roots and I absolutely love that. I feel like last season was just a bit too much in my opinion. I have a very big fear of um, blood. It makes me queasy, nauseous. So a lot of the season I was closing my eyes because, you know, if you watched the season you know why. So I am very happy to see that this season is less like that. I mean, Wednesday's episode was a, a little bit, mm, I kind of covered my eyes a couple of times, but it's okay. I like the story. I think it's great. It's like documentary style. I'm not going to give anything away, but yes, I suggest, highly suggest watching that show. The next um, show that I'm really enjoying is Scream Queens. I'm sorry, it's just like the stupidest show ever, but I'm like addicted to it. It's funny and it makes me laugh and the cast is unreal. Like I love Emma Roberts, I love watching anything that she's in and clearly she's in it and she's amazing. So Scream Queens is kind of like my guilty pleasure, like I'm kind of like embarrassed that I love it so much but like I do and I watch and I laugh and Sometimes I get a little like, ooh, oh my goodness, a little scared. The next one that I have is Grey's Anatomy. The season is off to a really great start. Um, I don't even know what season we're on, but I've watched every season. Love it. It's just one of my shows that's just like hopefully always going to be there. The next is a new show. It's called Notorious. It airs on Thursdays after Grey's Anatomy and it is amazing. It is about this woman who pretty much like runs the news. So like what she wants you to see on the news is what you're going to see on the news. 
and she is just like so badass she's awesome like she gets the stories she relays the stories how she wants to relay them she's friends with this lawyer and it's just oh my gosh it's such a great show if you like drama and thriller type shows this is totally one show for you the next is how to get away with murder that's on right after that again i've loved how to get away with murder this season is awesome like somebody big is going to die well so they say mm -hmm. and every episode you find out someone who did not die so mm, it's pretty exciting and it also makes me really frustrated because at the end of the episode i'm like oh my gosh i have to wait another whole week to find out who like the next person who didn't die is like i just want to know who died <laughs> The next is another new show, and it is called Designated Survivor, and it is about, I believe he's the Secretary of State, and there is a big, like, I, I don't know what it is yet, a bomb, or there was a giant explosion, and, like, everybody died. The president, the vice president, like, all these higher-up people, so now he has to step in as leader of the country, and he is just not fit for it like from the outside point of view he's he's not fit to be leader of he's not fit to be president he's just not and he knows that and everybody else knows that and it's kind of just like oh but he really wants to be and he really wants to change the country and it's just full of drama and full of like oh god that first episode like hooked me absolutely hooked um let's see the next one and the last that i'm going to talk about is this is us if you have seen the show, I have no need to explain anything. This show is awesome. This show is about three siblings and it's like, this is us, like this is them now, this is their lives now, it's different from when they were children and I mean, it's just a really like heartwarming show and it, it makes me cry pretty much every episode because and, and usually it's like happy tears too which is different from like Grey's Anatomy makes me cry like cry cry this show makes me like cry but like happy sometimes sad sometimes happy but yes I highly suggest watching that if you like tv drama and those are my current favorites right now not many mostly tv I know what are you gonna do but I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you soon. See ya.